Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've got a little hover effect for you today. We've got a module here and with some questions in. When you hover over it, it's going to flip and give you the answer. This is really easy to do. There's no actual coding involved in this today. We're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Now let's go down and I'll start a new row. Little green button to start a new row. I'm going to put three columns in it as that's what I've got above. And just for effect I'll put a little icon in there with a question mark. Let's make it blue. Obviously, styling is entirely up to you and the size you want it. Okay, I'm going to leave that just like there. And now I'm going to add a new little module just below it. I'm going to use a call to action. You can do this with any module you like. I'm just using the call to action because it's got that little button there, but this will work with any combination of modules you want to use. So let's put a call to action in there. And we'll say question four. Now, if you want a button in there, you've got to put an actual link in before a button will show up. And to do that, you do that just down below. Put the button link in there. Obviously, we, we don't really want a link because it's, it's going to be a hover effect. So I'm just going to put a hashtag in there. And background, let's change our background to blue. Or of course you don't have to have a background at all you can have a white background and flip it the same way and just have the text there okay and our button obviously wants to say answer so button right there and here's the question doesn't want to be too long okay but I want that to be about the same size as any answer is going to be so I'm going to give it a minimum height So to do that, let's go to design and go to sizing. You can either give it a fixed height or a minimum height. I'll just give it a fixed height, I guess. Let's say 400 pixels. As you can see, it's expanded. That way, when we put a module on top, we can make sure that our modules are going to be the same height for our hover effect there. So we've got our question, we've got our button. So now what I'd need to do is create another module exactly the same as this one. So the easiest way is to save our changes here. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to clone this module with the two little squares right there. So we've got the identical clone underneath that we can turn into the answer. So let's go into this one. And say answer. And we don't need a button on this one unless you want your button to say question again if they go back. So where it says button, I'm going to just take that away and the button will disappear right there. Obviously the answer is going to have a little bit more text in it. Let's steal a bit of text from perhaps one of our ones up here. Uh, steal a bit of text from down below here. And go into our answer module. There we go. And let's make that background a different color so we know we've got dealing with a different thing, but that's entirely up to you. Like I say, you don't have to have a background at all if you don't want to. Okay, now what we're actually gonna do is slide this one up on top of this one. To do that, we know that this is 400 high and we've got about 30 pixels or so for the gutter there in the row. So let's go over to our design. I'm gonna go to spacing. For margin, let's try negative 400, because we know it's 400 tall, negative 400 picks. And that's pulled it right up on top of our other one there, and we've still got the gap of about 30 for the margin. So let's try and take that 30 away by giving an extra 30. And there we go. Fantastic. So it's where we want it. Obviously, we don't want to see this particular one until we actually hover over it. That's the whole point of the hover effect. 
So we could do some coding, but we're not going to do that today with this one. We're going to go down to our filters just below here. And if we roll down, we're going to find opacity. Now, common to most Divi modules, if you roll over the dark writing in any modules, you're going to see some icons appear. If there's an arrow, like there is in our case, you need to click on it in the one that you want to affect, opacity in our case right here. We can set a desktop state when the mouse is not on it. When the mouse is not on it, I don't want to see the answer. I just want to see the answer when they hover over it. And when you hover over it, I want the answer to fade in. There we go. And with Divi, the time it takes to get from this state, question to answer once you hover over it, is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick. If you want to slow it down for a bit of drama, you can do so on the transitions page. If we move over here to advanced transitions, here's the duration. There's the default 300 milliseconds. Let's ramp that up to maybe three quarters of a second or something like that. And you can roll it up. You can type in a value right here. And you can increment up and down with the little arrows. Don't want any delay. Speed curve I like to use for these effects is easy in, easy out. These are all subtly different. Some will work better than others in some situations. Easy in and easy out is my usual one for my hover effects. And let's just go back. We'll flip it back to our desktop mode. It doesn't matter where you go in just to look at it to flip it back. So we've got our question. Then when they hover over it, it's going to answer. Great. OK, well, let's save our changes and check it out on the front end. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the Visual Builder. Roll on down. There's our little question when we roll over. It's going to fade in with the answer. And fade back out when we roll off again. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. Great for little questionnaires and things like that. So there you go guys, there's how to flip two modules on hover using the Divi theme. And like I say, this will work for any two modules you care to choose. We're also going to do another version of this where you can actually click a button to do it. We haven't done the video on that yet, but that will be coming up soon. So we've got an image and a question here. When we click on the button, it's going to change to the answer and a different image up there. We do have to do a bit of coding for this one, but it's not too difficult. And I'll get that out in the next week or so. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.